Hello YouTube Reloaders! Thanks for watching. Hornady Loader here. My standard disclaimer, I am not an employee of Hornady Manufacturing, nor do I have any interest, financially or otherwise, in the sale of Hornady products. I've been reloading for almost 35 years, and for the last 20 years I've been using Hornady equipment almost exclusively, hence the name Hornady Loader. The Hornady logo is a registered trademark of Hornady Manufacturing, Grand Island, Nebraska. Today's video will be an examination of the Hornady Lock and Load Auto Charge Powder Scale. This is by far my favorite piece of equipment, aside from my press, of course. It's essentially a motorized powder trickler controlled by a very accurate powder scale. It allows me to very rapidly drop very precise powder charges in each of my cases. Uh, it has two modes, automatic and manual. It has three speeds, slow, medium, and fast. Uh, I can set a target weight, uh, put the pan on, it'll automatically drop the uh, appropriate charge. And uh, as soon as I dump that in my case, I put the pan back on, it'll automatically dump another charge, exactly the same weight. It's a great little device. Essentially, uh, down at the bottom here is the control panel. This is where you would enter your target weight, you set your speed, you set your modes, uh, zero it out, and so on. Uh, in the middle here is the, it has a clear plastic uh, cover over the powder pan and the trickler. In the back is the powder hopper. Over on the right side here is the uh, powder drain uh, drain. <laughs> it comes with a 5 gram, gram and 50 gram, I'm sorry, a 10 gram and 50 gram uh, calibration weights. And it comes with an AC adapter. The only thing I would have liked changed on this is maybe instead of having an AC adapter, put the transformer inside the case and just give me a regular plug into the wall. I, I hate having all these adapters. At any rate. Before any session, you should always calibrate the unit. Now when you first turn it on, you, what you want to do is let it sit for about 15 minutes to let it warm up. That'll uh, eliminate any variations in uh, uh, the powder charge weight uh, due to temperature and, and so on. So to calibrate the unit, I'm going to remove the clear plastic cover and the powder pan. And I'm going to press the calibrate button. What that'll do is it'll set it to zero. I'm going to hit calibrate again. It'll chew on that for a minute. And then it'll ask for the 10 gram weight. So I take the 10 gram weight, put it in the center of the powder scale there, press calibrate again. And it'll ask for the 50 gram unit. Put that in the center. Try not to let it hit the trickler here. Press calibrate again. And you get a brief message that says pass and then it'll go to the weight again. And basically at this point we are calibrated. Now we're ready to start uh, dropping charges. By far, the easiest way to use the auto charge is in automatic mode. Now, in automatic mode, uh, down here we see we have auto and manual. We want to make sure that the tick mark is on auto. Over here we have our speed, slow, normal, and fast. Now, right now I have the tick mark over normal. I can use the speed button to change to fast, slow, or normal. Uh, the slow speed is for uh, extruded powders or uh, larger grain powders that may not trickle very well. The uh, Also maybe if you have a very small powder charge 
you would use a slow mode. Normal uh, is works for most powders, uh, either extruded or ball powder, uh, or you could use fast. If you have a very smooth flowing powder, maybe a, a very small grain ba uh, ball powder, uh, you can use the fast mode. If you get too many overcharges in fast, you might want to drop it down to normal. Um, the speed doesn't actually change the speed of the uh, trickle tube here. What it does is in slow mode, it'll move quickly until it gets to within one and a half grains of the target weight. And then it'll go to trickle mode at, for the final one and a half grains. Normal, it'll go to trickle mode uh, for the last one grain. And in fast mode, it'll go to trickle mode uh, for the last half a grain. So it doesn't really change the speed of the trickle charger. It just changes the how how soon it moves to tri back to trickle, or it goes from high speed to low speed uh, trickling. Now, in order to use auto or manual, we want to make sure we have the appropriate uh, mode set before we set the target weight. So since I'm going to use it in auto mode, I'm going to I have the tick mark over auto. And I'm going to set my target weight. For instance, if I want 7.6 grains of powder, I type in 7, 6. You'll see the last digit I, I uh, press here will be my tenths of a grain. So I have 7.6, and I press Enter, and that becomes my target weight. Okay. Now, the clear plastic cover isn't just a fancy little cover. Uh, the powder scale is so sensitive that it can be affected by, you know, an air conditioning unit blowing on it or other environmental factors. So if you find that it's it's not able to uh, measure properly, you might want to try putting the cover over it, especially if you have an AC unit running. Uh, that'll block the uh, the uh, stream from the AC unit from getting to the pout to the scale and. Uh, uh, affecting your charge weight. So at any rate, I've got my target weight set. I'm in auto mode. I'm in normal speed. Only thing left to do now is hit the dispense button. It'll zero itself out. The trickle charger will start turning, and it'll slow down once it gets within a, a grain of or a gran, yeah, one grain of the target weight. And there I've got 7.6 grains. I then take this, dump that into my case, put the pan back on, it'll automatically re-zero, and dump another 7.6 grain charge. Boom. Just like that. Now I'm going to change the speed to fast here, and see how well it works in fast mode. Not too bad. Make sure my scale stays clean. Everything's done automatically. All I have to do is put the pan back on and it'll recharge it. Now here I have an overcharge. So what I can do here is hit enter to clear the overcharge. Dump that back into the powder hopper. Put my pan back on. It'll re-zero. And try again. Now if I get too many overcharges, then the speed is set uh, too fast for the powder that I'm using. Especially if you're using a, an extruded powder. Extruded powder doesn't trickle very well. And you'll probably get a lot of overcharges. Yeah, there's another overcharge. So even with this small grain ball powder, I'm getting overcharges in fast mode. So I'm going to change the speed back to normal and use it in normal mode. And I think you'll find that that's fast enough for uh, for most purposes.
Oh, that's all there is to it. Just let it uh, trickle the charge out under the into the uh, powder pan. Charge your case. Put the pan back on. Don't even have to hit a button. It'll just automatically do the next one. When you're done. Press and hold the cancel button, and that'll reset the target weight back to zero, and it'll stop operations. Okay, that's auto, auto mode. That's by far the easiest way to use it. Uh, we'll talk about uh, manual mode here in a minute. Okay, manual mode. Now, before I set my target weight, like I said, I ha you have to set the mode before the target weight is set. So I'm going to hit the mode button, put the tick mark over manual. I still have speed set at normal. And I can then set my target weight. This time I'll say I'll go for 7.4 grains. So I hit 7.4 and press enter. Sets my target weight at 7.4 grains. Now, I'm going to press the dispense button, and it will automatically dispense 7.4 grains into the powder uh, pan. The difference here now is, there's a couple of differences. One, when I put my pan back on, it doesn't automatically re-dispense it. I have to actually hit the dispense button. Now, the other difference with manual mode is that I can put the powder pan in with a partial charge. Here I've, I've dumped just a little bit of that out. So I have 5.7. Now when I hit dispense, it'll top that off to 7.4 grains. Okay, so Manual mode, I have to hit the dispense button, and I can start with a partial charge. In automatic mode, I don't want to have any charge in the pan. and But I don't have to hit the dispense button. Clean that off a little bit. Now, I also have a trickle button down here at the bottom. I can use it to trickle powder in on my own. So for instance if I have 7.4 grains put in there I can then use the trickle button maybe bring it up to 7.6 there we go well I went over but the trickle button you can use to trickle, trickle powder on your own And that's manual mode. Not much to it. The only other button we haven't covered here, of course, is, is the uh, units button, where I can change from grains to grams. But, works the same way either way, regardless of the units that I'm using, and you'll, you'll almost always be using grains for reloading. Okay. That's all there is to the uh, Hornady Lock and Load Auto Charge Powder Scale. Uh, I hope you learned something. I hope you liked the video. If you did like the video, I'd appreciate it if you'd press the like button. Uh, maybe even uh, subscribe to my channel. So, thanks for watching. Happy reloading.